See what happens. I'll get up close so you can see here. Oh, there's one, there's one ball of water floating around. I'll put it on the washcloth. Okay, so here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's, let's start wringing it out. It's really wet. It's becoming a tube of water. It looks very cool. The water's running up my hands a little bit. Hey, Tom, can you come grab me a towel, please? I got one on the wall. It's over here by Sevis. So, I'd be on the other side of Sevis there, stuck in the wall. So, the water's all over my hands, in fact. It rings out of the cloth into my hands. And if I let go of the cloth carefully, the water sort of has it stick to my hand. The surface tension of the water keeps it stuck to my hand. Thanks, Tom. Grab the microphone. Okay, so the experiment worked beautifully. And the answer to the question is the water squeezes out of the cloth, and then because of the surface tension of the water, it, um, it actually runs along the surface of the cloth and then up into my hand, almost like you had jello on your hands or gel on your hand, and it'll just stay there. Wonderful moisturizer on my hands. And the cloth doesn't really unravel itself. It just stays there floating like a, uh, like a dog's chew toy, soaking wet. Great experiment, worked perfectly. Meredith and Kendra, congratulations, great idea.